it is uh, it is an incredible honor to be here tonight to uh, to celebrate Richard Donner for any number of reasons and to stand here <coughs> with Jeff after so many years <laughs> together. <laughs> we we have some stories. A lot of stories. Um, a lot of stories. There are any number of reasons that it's an honor, not the least of which that Dick and his wife Lauren gave me my first unpaid job in Hollywood, <laughs> my first part-time job in Hollywood, my first full-time job in Hollywood, and my first producing credit, um, of which it's the only reason I'm standing here. The other reason is because the films Dick made inspire me to even want to go down that track. And of course, in particular, Superman the movie is still to this day the archetype of the perfect superhero film origin story. And we watch it before we make almost any one of our films. And that's been the case for the past uh, 17 years since I left the fold to go work for, for Marvel. There was a word, Dick has a very good vocabulary. And there was a word that I was never able to pronounce, but I always understood, which was verisimilitude. And he used that word while making Superman 1. And I first learned that not because it's hanging above Dick's office, which it was for many years, but because I saw him talking about it in the ABC making of Superman special when I was a kid. Uh, and it, it basically means be truthful, honor the source material, believe in it, take it seriously. Um, and that is what we strive to do. And, and John Favreau on the very first Marvel Studios production copied that and, and put it above his doorway. And the, uh, and, and the the other thing that Dick did, and I, I'm so honored to be here and, and standing here with Kevin. It's 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 just so wild and and uh, and great. But the other thing that uh, really inspired me about Superman is when I worked for Dick, I would I do everything. I would research hot tubs, uh, planes, um, you know, also gas his car up, which which I'll talk about later, and. Uh, <laughs> And, and I'd also go into this, he had this giant bathroom at Warner Brothers, it was, and it was basically a storage room. He just threw all sorts of trash in there. And I was like this guy, creepy guy going, going through his trash. And I found this Superman script that was, it was like 300 pages. And I, I pulled it out and I go, Dick, what is this? And he said, oh, that's the first script from Superman that they sent me. I couldn't believe it. And I, I read through it. Kevin and I looked at it and they had a scene in it where Superman's looking for Lex Luthor and he flew down and is a bald guy and he turns around and it's Telly Savalas and he's like, who loves you, baby? And, and I was like, this is crazy. And Dick said, you know, and, and he's told the story a lot, how the Salkinds called him and said, we're going to give you a million dollars to direct this movie. But it was really, as much as Dick likes money, I think, is really uh, more about, he said, uh, I think you're going to give me a million dollars. But then I got this script and it was so terrible. He said, I have to save Superman. And, and he did. And that's why he took it, because he loved the character so much, this American icon, and he had so much passion for it. He said, I can't let this happen. And, uh, and he made the greatest superhero film still ever. 